Hey guys, welcome back to our channel and today we're going to be reviewing an Asian brand, a Japanese brand, Hanamori. And we're reviewing her new fragrance, which she hasn't launched since 10 years ago. Her first one was Hanamori and this one is Hanai. And yeah, it was a very sweet pink butterfly-like kind of a fragrance. And yeah, we're going to get into it and we're going to be reviewing it, okay? Mwah. The box is pretty nice. It's just like a very plain kind of a white color and it has Hanamori right here, Hanai. Yeah, the parfum, the sizing, and then yeah, it has like this really kind of embossed stem going above it and the butterfly on these flowers. And these flowers, from what I read or what we were told, are actually jasmine petals and jasmine blossoms around. And yeah, the butterfly just lays on it. My butterfly's back here. And I thought this was like a really little cute intricate design is right here, this little jasmine flower on the side of the box. And yeah, I really like that it. it's really cute like that. It's just white on the inside. So we're gonna get into the bottle next, okay? Okay guys, so this is the bottle and it's really, really pink. It just represents like the old bottle that they used to have a pink butterfly by Hanamori. And only this time, it's just like in this very pink, pale kind of a liquid. Um, it has like this jasmine petal right here wrapped around the neck of the bottle. And yeah, and then it has Hanai right here in calligraphy. And yeah, one of the things that I really enjoy about this bottle is just like to the old bottle as well, is that this is actually a butterfly right here. People don't really notice, but it's a butterfly on its side. Yeah, this is like a small wing, that's its bigger wing, and I like that it just goes around with that whole theme of butterflies and like, yeah, just magicalness and whatnot. And yeah, it, it smells really good, so we're just gonna get into that, okay? Mm. Alright guys, the notes of fitness perfume are Sicilian bergamot, black currant, red apples, orange blossom, wild strawberry, jasmine, rose tea, toffee accord, patchouli, sandalwood, benzoin, white cedar and vanilla okay guys and as usual i have three of the strongest scents right here i have the toffee accord the vanilla and the wild strawberries so we're going into the weakest of the three okay okay guys so the weakest note within the perfume is the vanilla and when the perfume runs out it's pretty much like you're left with like this very vanilla base on your skin it's very pretty it just gives like this very sweet element to it um, very soft, slightly powdery, and it's just really nice. It, it's not like vanilla bourbon where it's like strong. It's like a very, it's almost lenient, to, leaning to like a candy vanilla, but not so much. And it's really nice. So yeah. Okay, guys. Next note up we have is the wild strawberry. And yeah, as being the secondary note, it does add like a fruity element, a very like girlish, very young, very youthful, effervescent kind of an element to the fragrance. And I see why she put that in there. It only, also, strawberry was one of the original notes within the original Hanai. Mori, pink butterfly. And yeah, I, I think it's just like this being the younger sister of that fragrance, 10 years later it launched. Um, it just, it, it brings back like a certain nostalgic kind of smell to it. And yeah, like you get, you get like certain like whiffs of like the original pink butterfly, but it's its own like fragrance within its own. And it's much more fruitier, it's much more lighter. It's like better for a younger audience, but again, like perfume does not have an age. You can wear it at any age, whenever you want, however you want. And yeah, um, I enjoy the strawberry part. It gives it like just like this very, not bubblegumish kind of a smell, but just like more of a pastry, like a very macaroon kind of a strawberry kind of smell. Okay guys, lastly we have like this toffee note accord. And yeah, it, it, this is a very gourmand fragrance. Like as you can see, it has elements of vanilla, it has elements of like this very sweet strawberry and it just has like this toffee note that rounds up everything and it's really laced throughout the whole fragrance so you smell this predominantly everywhere throughout the whole perfume and yeah it just gives like this very like slightly nutty very candy-ish um caramel kind of a smell to it and i really enjoy it it just it's a very gourmand kind of a scent and that's very um odd i would say for like the asian market especially because they like very fruity florals and they tend to market that within the asian community but um, just to have something sweet within the Asian market is really nice, and I really like that. Okay, in terms of sillage, um, it is very soft. It's like very close to the skin. It doesn't project that far. It's it's very close to the skin. Um, yeah, it, it doesn't really project that far. In terms of longevity though, it'll last you a pretty long time. It'll last you probably like six to seven hours, and that's very odd. It's very soft, but it'll last really long if that makes sense. And that's not all that bad, it's just really unique in how it's composed. Okay guys, times I would wear like this pastry bomb right here, um, probably like on a date or something. It, I think it's like somewhat very romantic, um, just because it's very sweet and it just has this very hints of vanilla and like pastry-like and it's very warm and it's very cozy and it's just nice. I'd say the perfect time to wear this probably would be on a date and since it's light, I feel like it's light enough to wear in the summer, but it's perfect for the winter time as well. So I think it's like a really good all-around kind of a fragrance. 
But yeah. Overall, I really like this fragrance. Um, I think perfumes, it kind of really smells like. Um, I would say it kind of smells like Flower Bomb, which is really funny. Or like um, Pink Sugar Sparks. It kind of has like both of those elements, but it's a lot softer and the patchouli is a lot more toned down. And these fruit and very sweet elements are risen, but in like a very soft kind of powdery kind of a scent. And yeah, so if you want something very soft and something close to your skin, but you want it to be sweet and have somewhat of an impact, then wear this. Yeah, it's really nice. And um, I don't know, I like that an Asian designer went with something sweet. Um, normally, again, as I repeated before, um, the Asian market tends to like have an influx of like very fruity and floral kind of perfumes. They don't really go for Vermont scents. And I think that's really unique for that market to do this. And if you guys want to learn about the Asian market and how it works, just let me know. And I'll make a video of it and I'll, I'll tell you like the difference between how they're marketed and how it's marketed here and the different perfumes they get over there. But yeah, overall this is a really good scent and if you guys really like it, then buy it and see if you try it out or just test it and stuff. And yeah. Alright guys, I'm Andrew. Stay fresh, stay clean, smell good. I'm feeling like eat this. How oh, babe. At least you're eating the notes. I know. Strawberry and toffee smells. That smells good. It just tastes really good.